Welcome artists and art fans of all ages. I'm Jessie Wozniak, Curator of Education at Artist Naples, home of the Baker Museum and the Naples Philharmonic. Today, we're going to explore the connections between art and music and create a painting inspired by music. Many of the same words are used to describe music and art, like harmony, composition, tone, and rhythm. When you listen to music, you might sway to the rhythm and tap your feet to the beat. When you look at art, there's a rhythm to that too. Colors, lines, and shapes can create a rhythm for your eyes to move through the painting. Musical tone refers to a sound's pitch, quality, and intensity. Tone in painting describes the quality of the color, light or dark, warm or cool, dull or vibrant. In music, harmony is created by adding more notes above or below the melody to create combinations of notes together called chords. Some artists believe that each color is like a musical note and you could create harmonies by adding colors in combination together. This art movement is called synchromy, which means colors together. The artists compose their paintings by arranging colors and shapes similar to how a musician composes a song using different notes and instruments to create harmonies. Listen to the beginning of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, which starts with all the instruments together playing the melody. As the music develops, Beethoven adds harmonies above and below the melody. This harmony makes the music more interesting and, like these paintings, creates more color and shape. Artists often listen to music as inspiration while they are painting. Let's look at a few more paintings that were inspired by music. Be sure to notice the shapes and colors the artists use to create rhythm and harmony. I hope you're starting to feel inspired because now it's our turn to paint to music. The first thing we need is the music. You can use any style that you like, classical like Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, or maybe some dance music or something jazzy like Glenn Miller's In the Mood. I would recommend starting with music without any lyrics to better help you focus on the sounds that the instruments make. The other supplies I'm using are watercolor paint, paper, water, and a few different size brushes. You can use any type of paint or drawing material you have available. Once you have all your materials ready, start the music and just listen with your eyes closed for a moment. Try to imagine the colors, shapes, and lines that could connect with the notes and instruments you're hearing. Then open your eyes and begin to paint. Listen to the rhythm of the music and recreate the feeling of rhythm through the movement of your hand while you create your artwork. While you're painting, you might want to close your eyes to focus on the sound of the music. Try changing colors and tones as the music changes. If the music is quiet and calm, you might use lighter colors. If the notes sound deep and dramatic, try using bolder color. If the music ends before you finish painting, you can always repeat the song again. You can keep painting for as long as you want. Try listening to a few different songs and create a painting for each one. Depending on the style of music you're listening to, your artwork might change dramatically. You can also listen to a variety of music while looking at artwork and see what different details you notice, depending on the type of music you choose. I hope you enjoyed learning about the connections between art and music. Have fun and keep the creativity going. Be sure to check out artistnaples.org to learn more about our programs. Thank you.